<laughs> well, of course, they're, they're excited, you know, they're ready to go. And it's been a long, long process. You know, we should be in week five of a normal season. And here we are in week one. So, you know, they're excited, ready to go. And uh, just fact, you know, it's going to be a long week waiting for Friday. So. Well, uh, of course, you know, we, our linebacker core, I think, is really impressive to watch, you know, Braden Chaney and Braden Beck and, you know, those two guys, you know, have anchored that been there really about you know, to be their third year or so doing that. And uh, so, you know, looking for a lot of great things from them. You know, uh, Dylan Chaney and his, his safety has uh, done real good. And we're going to be pretty young as far as uh, experience on the out there in the corners and on the D-line. But, uh Again, been working hard, you know, offensive side of the ball. Um, you know, we got you know two quarterbacks working. Both of them have played well. You know, uh, Braxton Bird and uh, uh, Jared Gallegos, both of them. I'm looking forward to see which one, you know, eventually takes that spot over. But they've both been working working well. And and young on the offensive line, you know, and those guys have worked their tails off these last three weeks. And uh, so I'm, I'm expecting them just to continue to grow and get better as we go through this. Um, you kind of think that maybe, you know, no one would start this late like over season long because of COVID thing. But do you think that it kind of works to, there's a way you guys can take advantage of this? Like it's a little more pent up than it normally would be. You get a lot of a burst of energy and maybe come out, you know, a little <laughs> bit stronger on being uh, quite than normally, right? Well, I mean, we hope so. I mean, we, we hope they come out, you know, firing for sure. Uh, but also, you know, just kind of, we want to be under control as well. You know, we, they're just going to be emotional just because it's been a while and they're ready to go. And, you know, they got to learn to control those emotions and, uh, you know, play the game the way it's supposed to be played. So, uh, but I like for them to come out and have, have a good game. No, we didn't change any film. You know, we scrimmaged last year. So the only uh, thing we had was that. And, uh, you know, me and Coach Fisher talked and communicated and kind of, you know, it's weird neither one of us had a scrimmage. So, you know, we treat we treat it kind of like a scrimmage. You know, we exchange some, you know, base information and stuff like that. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's it's the weirdest game one I've ever been a part of. <laughs> so. What do you think with some of your keys for this first game? I mean, just going against Palazzaro, a couple of things you want to see the Raiders do well? Well, I mean, uh, first, you know, defensively, you know, we're going to have to be sure we're lined up and we tackle. You know, PD's always got, you know, you know they're athletic. And they're, they're going to have guys that could take it to the house at any time. So that's that's the number one thing defensively. Get lined up correct, you know, and tackle. Be a good tackle. And offensively, you know, we just got to go out and just have good drives. You know, good sustained drives, you know, kind of ball control. And, you know, if we can do those things, I think I think we got a chance. <laughs> um, you talk about, um, you know, how you staying under control and that sort of thing. Um, you keep the emotions up for the entire game is going to be um, <clears throat> a pretty easy thing to do. You kind of weren't worried about, you know, the energy sort of how that might, if it starts out too quickly, you might flag, that, that kind of thing. No, I mean, it's an emotional game anyway. I mean, it's a game of up and downs, no matter whether week one or, you know, week 13. It's, it's That's the same. And it's those teams who can, you know, be steady and be consistent when it's good and stay in consistency when things are bad. I mean, those are the teams that, you know, usually come out on top. And, you know, and that's what we that's what we got to do. You think maybe defense is going to set this foundation a little bit, maybe at least the first couple of weeks of the season? So. Yeah, of course. Obviously, I hope the defense does. I mean, you know, I, I, I definitely believe that you know defense, you know, that they win championships. They can't, you know, they can't score. You got you, you got to win. So, uh, but offensively, they're going to be okay. I mean, we're we have some skilled kids that I'm really excited about. Uh, you know, on the offensive side, and so you know, I'm I'm just excited to get to that game. We get to Friday. And uh, and see what see what the Raiders got right now. Coach, is the team more excited, or is your fans, the student body, and everything more excited, ready to, ready to play? Right. <laughs> well, I think probably the players, but I think there's. I mean, it's everywhere. You know, everybody's. You know, I've figured on how many emails of this and that I've gotten. Just you know, getting you know how to get tickets, tickets, tickets. You know, uh, all that stuff. So I know there's a lot of excitement out in the community, and uh, so should be a fun night.